In this video we share Our Lady's message to blessed Elena Aiello on the justice of God. This message was given on the Feast of the Immaculate Heart, August 22, 1960. The hour of the justice of God is close, and will be terrible. Tremendous scourges are impending over the world, and various nations are struck by epidemics, famines, great earthquakes, terrific hurricanes, with overflowing rivers and seas, which bring ruin and death. If the people do not recognize in these scourges, of nature, the warnings of divine mercy, and do not return to God with truly Christian living, another terrible war will come from the east to the west. Russia with her secret armies will battle America, will overrun Europe. The river Rhine will be overflowing with corpses and blood. Italy, also, will be harassed by a great revolution, and the Pope will suffer terribly. Spread the devotion to my Immaculate Heart, in order that many souls may be conquered by my love and that many sinners may return to my maternal heart. Do not fear, for I will accompany with my maternal protection my faithful ones, and all those who accept my urgent warnings, and they, especially by the recitations of my rosary, will be saved. Satan goes furiously through this disordered world, and soon will show all his might. But, because of my immaculate heart, the triumph of light will not delay in its triumph over the power of darkness, and the world, finally, will have tranquility and peace. People are offending God too much. Were I to show you all the sins committed on a single day, you would surely die of grief. These are grave times. The world is thoroughly upset because it is in a worse condition than at the time of the deluge. Materialism marches on ever-fermenting bloody strifes and fratricidal struggles. Clear signs portend that peace is in danger. That scourge, like the shadow of a dark cloud, is now moving across mankind, only my power, as Mother of God, is preventing the outbreak of the storm. All is hanging on a slender thread. When that thread shall snap, divine justice shall pounce upon the world and execute its dreadful, purging designs. All the nations shall be punished because sins, like a muddy river, are now covering all the earth. The powers of evil are getting ready to strike furiously in every part of the globe. Tragic events are in store for the future. For quite a while, and in many a way, I have warned the world. The nation's rulers do indeed understand the gravity of these dangers, but they refuse to acknowledge that it is necessary for all people to practice a truly Christian life to counteract that scourge. Oh, what torture I feel in my heart, on beholding mankind so engrossed in all kinds of things and completely ignoring the most important duty of their reconciliation with God. The time is not far off now when the whole world shall be greatly disturbed. A great deal of blood of just and innocent people as well as saintly priests will be poured out. The church shall suffer very much and hatred will be at its very peak. Italy shall be humiliated and purged in her blood. She shall suffer very much indeed on account of the multitude of sins committed in this privileged nation, the abode of the Vicar of Christ. You cannot possibly imagine what is going to happen. A great revolution shall break out and the streets shall be stained with blood. The Pope's sufferings on this occasion may well be compared to the agony that will shorten his pilgrimage on earth. His successor shall pilot the boat during the storm. But the punishment of the wicked shall not be slow. That will be an exceedingly dreadful day. The earth shall quake so violently as to scare all mankind. And so, the wicked shall perish according to the inexorable severity of divine justice. If possible, publish this message throughout the world, and admonish all the people to do penance and to return right away to God. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.